To keep my energy up, I eat lollipops. And the award for most contrived reason behind the title goes to Lollipop Chainsaw. And she has a lot of secret meetings with guys I think are college scouts. I want to know who took this picture, why they took it, and why Juliet doesn't suspect that her sister's some sort of hitman woman. I know she's super innocent, but she's in a family of zombie hunters, so... Try as they might, they could never come between him and my mom. She is so cool. It's because of her. My sisters and I all wear our vaginas proudly. Which is the reason she only shows up at the very end of the game as a zombie. Nick is totally freaked out having to meet my family for the first time. But I'm even more freaked out for him to find out about my family. The main character is nervous for his slash her significant other to meet his slash her freak family cliche. Nick somehow didn't notice all of these slow moving zombies sneaking up on him. And the award for most obviously targeted demographic goes to Lollipop Chainsaw. Juliet somehow doesn't get bitten by a zombie. Meet this game's most popular vehicle, the school bus. One bit me. I don't know what that means. What does it mean? It means you need to amputate ASAP. Oh no. Uh, 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 Nick, uh, I had to. Uh, you could have just cut off his arm. Hey, it's Mr. Fitzgibbon. Anybody else have the feeling that this was a bad dream that the devs decided to turn into a game? Sort of like Twilight? There's something else written. It says zombie basketball. Time limit three minutes. You lose and blam. Nick must have eyes in the back of his head because he can read stuff that's behind him. Incredible game, Juliet. Can't wait to see you in action again. Where's that voice coming from? Let's leave breaking the fourth wall to Deadpool, shall we? What the hell am I playing? Is every gamer's thought at this point, and at most of the points of Lollipop Chainsaw. The gases of Rotten World seeped into our world. Your friends and fellow students inhaled these gases, which transformed them into the undead. That is the worst and most contrived zombie explanation ever. And why didn't the gases transform Juliet and her family? Or Nick? Or Morikawa. This society made my life a hell. Well, now everyone is gonna know a life of hell. Every facet of this game is cliched and lazy, from the graphics to the jokes to the villain's motivation. And just because it tries to be cliched doesn't mean that it's a success because it is. <laughs> That's one face in the boobs joke too many for us. It wasn't even funny the first time, and that was just a few seconds ago. Subtitle mistake. She was apparently supposed to say blow, but she says kill. How does blow remotely make sense? I love the smell of almost dead cheerleader in the morning. This game desecrates one of the most famous lines in cinematic history. All humans must die, as I must now do. Sensei, no! Don't leave! Oh! I have this for you, Juliet. 100% of the jokes in this game are either unoriginal or they just fell flat. I don't think we laughed even once, but we cringed. We cringed a lot. One, two, three! Good luck, Any reason why our zombie hunter sister isn't helping us? If it isn't the pirates of the jerk off yet. Terrible pun is terrible. One of many. We would take the time to make a bonus round of all the puns, but it would take almost as long as the campaign. We shall be merciful, and just take this opportunity to tack on two sins. I think this is... it's some sort of farm. Some sort of farm? It's just a farm. Hey, Juliet! I came to save you! Something's wrong with this bus! Oh, it's really irritating! Is that a new purse? Wait, it's your boyfriend! He's a decapitated head? Rosalind is a discount Jar Jar Binks, except more annoying. It makes me throw up! I think it's the donuts that are making you throw up, not Nick's dismembered head. Uh, it's certainly making me want to throw up. Wow, Rosalind must have seen this on my Amazon wish list. Nick Popper! I can shoot your head with this! If the Nick Popper was on her Amazon wish list, that means Juliet's been shopping on Amazon since Nick lost his body. You ever had a space cake, Juliet? Mmm, a ding dong, yes! No, no, like, like a pot man. No way! I would never do drugs! Sex and violence is okay, but pot? Pot's the worst! It's like a German porn video around here. What does that mean? Nothing. You don't watch porn, do you, Nick? Sex and violence is okay, but pot and porn? They're the two terrible peas. I'm glad I took that pole dancing class. Sex and violence and pole dancing are okay, but pot- Though the game is rated M for partial nudity, this is the most that we see. Talk about false marketing. Why don't you try using some deodorant? Because honestly, you smell like sh if you smell like shit, then you should probably take a shower, not put on deodorant. Her influence was Aldous Huxley. Guess she didn't know that Brave New World is a satire.
Speaking of Brave New World, click on the card or the annotation to check out my book, Great New World. It's a great book, no one may be biased as I wrote it, but you know, seriously check it out, it's awesome. Hey there, Juliet. Are you ready to boogie woogie? <laughs> Who is this? Why are you pretending to be Stephen Hawking? Juliet references Stephen Hawking instead of T-Pain. Black girl knows trouble like apple knows pie. Either he doesn't know that there are flavors of pie other than apple, or he only eats apple when he has an apple pie. Either way, it's a sin. Oh, I'm so touched. My mom and dad knew exactly what I wanted. Nick, Nick shoot. shoot! Her parents knew that she wanted the Nick shoot, but they didn't know that Nick is only a head. Dude, give us Rosalind now. And quit making fun of Stephen Hawking. He's a great man, you perv. I'm the pervert? You the one with a head hanging from your hip. Come on, she's still referring to the black hat top wearing zombie as Stephen Hawking? He's totally a discount T-Pain. Perhaps they weren't allowed to say T-Pain. Perhaps I'm not allowed to say T-Pain. Ooh, I better watch myself. Ferdy's a vindictive bastard. No, uh, I, I mean, um, uh, d nice bloke. Yeah, T-Pain, the best. Doesn't sound like a freak at all. Feces are all in my pants. Sounds like the writers had a seven-year-old on their team. I'll make sure you're protected from anything that gets in your way. Well, here I go. Good luck for both of them. Any good reason why he's not coming with? Your turn, you whiny MySpace hair jerk! MySpace? Talk about an outdated reference even in 2012. And they must utter the sacred words at the point of their deaths. Meus vita reggae pro nefario coepto. Even though everybody and their dog noticed the Latin, they show us flashbacks as if they were an obscure detail that was easily missed. It is impossible to rest in peace with all this going on. Sensei, are you alive? He just said rest in peace, Juliet. How can Nick hear the conversation happening on the other end of the telephone? I don't know if I... Uh... This far in my training. That's a good point, Juliet. Where the hell is your family? We interrupt Lollipop Chainsaw to bring you God of War 2. And they don't even give us a good kiss, the rotten bastards. You have truly been a hero. The glorious ones have chosen to bless you with a reward. The writers take a page out of Disney's book and have the main character sacrifice himself only to bring him back to life a few minutes slash seconds later. Hey, face suckers! Up here! Everybody lives. No sacrifice? The one shred of respect I had left for this game has vanished. I think I lost a testy in the blast, but what the hell, you only need one. Uh, I stand corrected, now it has vanished. This has really been the best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> and as if the game wasn't cheesy enough already, they end it like an 80s sitcom with everybody laughing. <laughs> How sweet and stupid. Come on in everyone. <laughs> Time for dinner. And uh, thanks for the shit ending. What? Thank you for watching today's video. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Follow us on Twitter, so that way we can let you know when we're coming out with a new video. Like us on Facebook and Google+. Also, if you haven't already, check out my book. It's called Great New World. It is a great book. No one may be biased, but you can get it on Amazon. There's a link in the annotation card and in the comments. Have a great day.